Eyewitness News bringing you in-depth coverage in campaign 2016. CBS released some new poll numbers today on the Democratic presidential hopefuls and WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi joining me to break it all down, talk all things politics. So Hillary Clinton leading in the polls, not something new. Kind of give us an idea of what these polls are saying now. Yeah, she's led uh, this presidential race, pretty the primary we should say, pretty much from the beginning. But what's important, Shannon, at this point is timing because we're getting closer to people casting actual votes in the primary. It feels like it's already been going on forever, but February we'll see Iowa and New Hampshire start to win. The longer Hillary Clinton keeps this strong lead well over 50%, the more likely it looks she really won't encounter any problems and she'll be able to win the nomination. The one problem I think that she's probably worried about is Bernie Sanders kind of on her tail, getting about a third of the vote in this new poll, 33%. So what does that mean for his campaign? You know, obviously it's a strong uh, number when you consider people mostly wrote him off in mm -hmm. the beginning, a Democratic Socialist. Would he really have a lot of supporters? But the problem for him now is he has these passionate supporters, he gets these big crowds, but he's not building past that 33%, about a third of the electorate. That's where he was about a month ago in the same CBS poll. And a big reason for that is his lack of su support in the minority communities. That makes up a big share of the Democratic base vote. Hillary Clinton much stronger than him there. And if he doesn't make up that ground, he probably can't win. And now how are things looking on the other side, the Republican presidential hopefuls? Any right, we've got these numbers? CBS poll today, which is our time about the Democrats. But on the Republican side, I looked up right now, it's still where it's been. Donald Trump, Ben Carson, both around 24% taking half the vote. Uh, and the question continues to be, can those non-traditional candidates stay strong as far enough to actually win the nomination? Or will we see some of the people behind them, Senators Rubio and Cruz, Jeb Bush, start to pick up more momentum and take over? So we'll have to keep watching. But that's certainly a much more interesting race than on the Democratic side. You know, I have to ask, because I know the candidates put a lot of, um, you know, into these polls. But do, what do they mean in the grand scheme of things? Well, you know, it's a great question, Shannon. I think it drives media coverage. That's an important point. It tells us who's up, who's down, who gets on the news at night. Mm -hmm. And for the candidates internally, for them, it's less about who's up and who's down. It's about messages. Okay. What are the voters passionate about? What are they worried about? And looking at those kind of things, trying to make sure they're appealing right to what the voters care about. That's what they really care about with polls. All right, Ted Nisi, thank you so much. And you can